international industry. We are doing nationalist movement in Indochina. And we have reached 7.0. That is the nation and its heroes. It's all about the women who participated previously in the national movement in China. And from, their, from these stories, it was kind of inspiration to the women of Vietnam. We'll talk about that. How this nationalist movement affect different social groups, such as women. So the nation and its hero, here 7.0, there are only two points over here. Another way of looking at social movement. So we have already learned about socialism and uh, how this social movement developed in Vietnam. And this, and we have also we have also talked about. Uh, to look, uh, to become modern, look modern, talk modern, and even modern education. So another way of looking at social movement is to see how they affect different groups in a society. So in society there are various social groups such as women, children, old, men, workers, traders, farmers, and so on. They are all social groups in a society. Let us see the role of women in the movement in Vietnam, nationalist movement in Vietnam. Let us take, take uh, examples of various women who participated in the nationalist movement and uh, what role they played. We have already talked about Ho Chi Minh Trail. Their women carried goods such as arms, food, medicine. They, uh, even the villagers helped the freedom fighters to carry on the nationalist movement in order to free their country from the uh, Europeans. So now let us see the role of women in the movement in Vietnam, what role they play. That tells us about nationalist ideology. Ideology means ideas, thoughts, whatever they have adopted, what they think about their nation, what they think about their role, their duty. So we'll talk about that as we go through. Women as rebels. Rebel means one who opposes, one who opposes, one who go against the law, against the government. That is called a rebel. So women as rebels. Now here are only my first we have three points. Some more are there in other class. Traditionally, in Vietnam, traditionally means according to their culture and tradition. Traditionally, women in Vietnam enjoyed greater equality than in China. So there is a comparison because Vietnam, that is Indochina, was influenced by Chinese culture, tradition, even language, because previously the Chinese used to come to trade in Vietnam and many of them, they settled there. And this area, Indochina, that is comprising Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam, Indochina, that is the area. And this area was influenced by the Chinese culture and their stories, uh, inspiration, everything came from China. So this, traditionally in Vietnam, the women enjoyed greater equality with, uh, with men than in China. In China, women did not enjoy equality, especially among the lower classes especially among the lower classes. Why? There is a, a very simple logical question. Uh, question is that. Why there is greater equality in the lower class? Because in the lower classes, the women had to go out and work. They could not be confined in one uh, in the house. They had to go out in order to earn money. So there was quite freedom for them. So there was equality. They used to work along with the men in the field or in somewhere else. So, especially among the lower classes, because they had to go out in order to earn money. That's why there was quite equality. They enjoyed greater equality along with the men compared to China. But these women had limited freedom. But like limited freedom means to decide the matter, certain matters of the house, such as marriages, such as other things that whatever they have to decide at home, the women were not involved. So you can see, but these women had limited freedom and played no role in the public life. 
So these women have no time to engage themselves in the public life. They have to earn money for the family, especially the lower class women, poor women, poor class. You can say. So they have no time for the public affairs. So they have to earn money in order and they have to work. So they have they play no role in the public life and they have limited freedom regarding the decision of the certain matters in the house. They have limited freedom. They could not involve in the decision making inside the house. As the nationalist movement grew, you know that the Americans they have also invaded. They are they are they have also involved in the fight. So we have already talked about Vietnam was occupied by Japanese towards the north and towards the south. Uh, French they. They had to fight along against the French. Not only that, the Americans were also involved in the war because Americans were scared that the socialist movement will spread on towards the Philippines. That is, next to Vietnam, there is Philippines Islands, which was a colonial part of America, and they were scared. That's why, in order to stop the spread of nationalism or Communist movement, so they attacked or they were involved. Americans were involved in the war. So as the nationalist movement grew, these new images of women grew. The new images of women grew. The thinkers, writers, they began to idolize women as heroes because many stories in, from China, uh, they, especially the writers. They began to rewrite the stories of China, how women they fought with the emperors or with the kings. As the nationalist movement grew, new images of women grew. Women were idolized as heroes, heroines. Writers, not only writers, political thinkers began, not I, began idolizing women who rebelled against social norms, rules in China. In China, there were social rules, and how the women they rebelled against that to remove these uh, ideals about women. So in this way, they began to uh, see women as important member of the society who could also pick up guns and fight along with the men in order to drive away the Europeans or the Americans. So they began to idolize women as great heroes and more are there in this. So we have only three points which we have not done at least over here. So that's all for today. We will continue in our next class about the women as rebels, a little bit more left. Then we'll go to another subtitle that is seven point. So that's all for today. Thank you for your presence as well as your attention and uh, I hope you have understood everything what uh, being said over here. So we have a very short class right now. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class and continue our lesson.